So, barbershop fragrances, masculine fragrances, powdery fragrances. Like I said, barbershop type fragrances in my collection. I got 10 of them. Well, I picked out 10 for this video. You want to know what they are? Come on back. Let's talk about it. going on everybody it is your boy Trey Sense happy Saturday hope everybody is doing well before I get into this video listen please consider giving your boy a sub if you like this type of content like it give me a thumbs up share and of course please be sure to sub now that we got the business in out of that out of the way let's have some fun you ready all right I manage to find about 10 fragrances in my collection that are one extremely masculine powdery barbershop fougere whatever the term you want to put on it type of fragrances some of these y'all have heard of before some of it you some of them you won't let's get right to it the first one is from the house of galan habat rouge i think i'm saying that right habit rouge habat rouge Nice, masculine, powdery. It smells just like the barbershop. I'm gonna give myself a spray of that. Or it smells just like a man would have smelled in the 50s and 60s. I'm not sure when this fragrance came out. Man, oh man, it smells good. I do know that Guerland made this fragrance for one reason, Shalimar. They were having so much success with Shalimar and a lot of the men were wearing Shalimar. So they were like, hey, we need to make a fragrance for the man that's equally as good. Into this. That's just good. It's very masculine, very powdery. I mean, I can see this fragrance being worn 50 years ago and I can see it being worn by some hipster 50 years from now. I like it, I just, I like it. It's a nice, spicy, powdery type of fragrance. Somewhat clean, just, barbershoppy man just a fresh and when I say fresh I don't mean like shower fresh I mean fresh in the sense of it's not floral or it's not woodsy I'm sure there's probably some florals in listed in the notes but to my nose what I pick up on is that powdery powdery goodness so if you don't like powdery scents you won't like this one but if you like masculine powdery scents how about rouge is the one for you Next up on the list, another old school, another one, another one that's been out forever. And it is from Giorgio Beverly Hills. Can you guess what it is? Red. Another masculine type of scent. Give myself a hit. Great itemizer on that, sprays a lot. Only thing I hate about this, this is the top is a little generic. Man, that smells good. The itemizer on this is great. You see that juice? Very simplistic bottle, nothing fancy, nothing over the top. I think I picked this up for $12 or $13 at TJ Maxx and it smells amazing. Very masculine, slightly barbershop, very leathery. I would reach for this one more on a cooler day, which I think it can be worn year round. I know that the Guerlain Habat Rouge can be worn year round. This is a year round scent. You can wear this on a cold day or a hot day. It doesn't, it's not gonna matter. Very nice fragrance, I like that. Now back to this one. I like this one too. Red, masculine, spicy, very simple, very easy to wear fragrance. It's nothing really, really complicated, but if you wore this, I would be willing to bet that somebody would think you had on something really expensive because this has a certain amount of depth to it. You know, in my last review, I was smelling some fragrances and I said, it's just nothing there, it's nothing to them. They were just like nobody, no personality. I mean, I could smell the fragrance, but there was nobody, no personality. Both of these that I just sprayed on, the red and the Guerlain Habat Rouge, great personality, strong, masculine, mass appealing, but at the same time, different. This has a little bit of a leather note running through it, nice 
Again, that's one I can remember a lot of people wore back in the, in the 80s and 90s and loved it. Speaking of barbershop from the house of EJ Wells, barbershop. Man, oh man. And this, whew, man. As you can see, I put a dent in it. But it doesn't take a lot of this for it. Two sprays and you're good. This one has a medicinal sort of vibe to it. It's not for everybody. Everybody will not like this fragrance. I like the fragrance. This is one that I would lean more towards the cooler weather to wear as opposed to the warmer months. Only knock on this one is this a little bit linear. It just, it, it doesn't move a whole lot when you spray it. I'm gonna give myself a spray. I'm gonna be smelling good, y'all. Um, small little spray, that's all I need. Just a little bit came out. It's got a slightly medicinal type of vibe to it, but nonetheless, it's a good smelling fragrance. It's strong, pow uh, powdery. It's not powdery, strong, potent, just masculine, just in your face type of fragrance. It's unapologetic. You can definitely see you wearing, wearing this when you're gonna ride your Harley or something like that. Just gonna do something extremely masculine. I could definitely see this one uh, being pulled out and people liking it and enjoying it. Yeah, a little medicinal, but I like it. Okay, one that I don't hardly ever hear anybody talk about, and I've never really heard anybody talk about it. Not saying I'm the only person to review it. I'm just saying I ain't heard nobody else talk about it, or very few. From the house of Versace, this is Baby Blue Jeans. My goodness, y'all. This is a nice, nice fragrance. What does it have in common with the rest of these? It's powdery masculine powder it's a masculine powdery fragrance and you see i have put a dent in that i've almost worn a, a half a bottle of it and this is maybe a 30 mil maybe a 50 mil love the bottle design too i like that clear bottle with that light blue that's pretty to me um i won't spray this one on because i'm running out of place well no i'm running out of places to spray but this one another one that's masculine sweet powdery type of fragrance easy to wear Nothing overly complicated. It will get you compliments because for some reason, women like that sweet powdery type of vibe. Again, not one that's heavy on the florals, not one that's heavy on the citrus or the woods or anything like that. Just, I guess it's the note of iris that makes them somewhat powdery. So yeah, but I don't do no breakdowns because everybody picks up on something different. So to me, it's just redundant. I apologize, but that's just not how, that's just not my style. But again, this gives me that clean cut fresh out of the barber chair type of vibe that everybody likes. Nice V-neck t-shirt or a nice polo t-shirt or Nautica t-shirt, whatever your brand is, and some jeans and some Chuck Taylors or Jordans or whatever you wear, perfect with this. Just, I ain't trying too hard, just easy breezy masculine. Another one that I think people should really have in their collection, and uh, some people know about it and some people don't. Perry Ellis 360 White. Yes, this is a Lamar clone. And yes, it's cheaper than Lamar. And yes, it's better. There has not been one time that I wore this fragrance and did not get a compliment. It is a conversation starter and a compliment getter. People love this fragrance. They really do. Perrier 360 White, nothing else to say about it. Smooth, masculine, old school type of scent, but modern, powdery goodness. I'll tell you some more I could have put on this list too. I could have put Paul Sebastian Fine Cologne on here. I could have put George Zaharoff's Signature Noir, our Signature for Home on here, but I decided, you know, since I talk about those fragrances so much, I wouldn't put them in this video. All right, I got about five more. Another one from the house of Giorgio Beverly Hills. And I just forgot the name of this fragrance. I think it's called, just called Giorgio. Yeah, I think this is Giorgio Beverly Hills. Mm. And you see the juice levels on this. I've worn this. This is another one that I reach for when the weather is cooler. I think you could get away with it in the summer. You would just have to tone down your sprays a little bit. But I, I really enjoy this fragrance. I'm gonna put it in the air. Oh yeah. Now this is just a nice masculine scent. Now I'm told, of course, there's a reformulation that the juice used to be brown. 
I don't know, all I've ever smelled with this was the green juice and I really, really like it. This is a very strong, good performing type of fragrance. It's got that barbershop feel to it. It's not quite as powdery as the rest of them. So if you're wanting something that's barbershoppy, inexpensive and not powdery, but very well made, Giorgio Beverly Hills. This is a good one though. And I used to see this in abundance at Ross. And I'm telling you, every time I went, somebody had bought it. There's some people that's been wearing this since the 80s. Because I think Giorgio Beverly Hills is a high-end boutique out in uh, Beverly Hills, probably on Rodeo Drive or somewhere like that, just because these it's the same thing with, with Beijing. You know, I live in Alabama, so of course we don't have any Beijing boutiques or Giorgio uh, Beverly Hills boutiques here. But at one time, those places were, you know, like appointment only type places. They were hard to get in for high end fashion. And their fragrances at one time fetched a high dollar. Not saying that this one did, I'm just saying. But nonetheless, this is more of a fougere. And it's 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 not quite as powdery as the rest of them, but still a very nice fragrance. I like it, especially for the price of thirteen to fifteen dollars. Performance is good, projection is good, longevity is good, sillage is good. It does what it's supposed to do. All right, another one that they've been making since the seventies, and I imagine it to be a lot stronger when it first came out because you could use more natural ingredients. Zara for home. I have this one, and I have the. I think 2016 released the Intense version. Love them both. I like the Intense version a little bit better. Man, if you're looking for a nice fougere type of fragrance to wear, that just smells masculine, somewhat natural. This just makes me feel like you should have on one of those Biggie Smalls, you know, way back when I had the red and black lumberjack with the hat to match you. You know, this feels like you should be doing something outside when you wear this. It's just earthy, mossy, oh, just, a, just a nice, well-rounded, masculine fragrance. And the thing I like about all of these fragrances is they all, to me, say the same thing. I smell good, but I'm not really trying too hard. You know, I still want, I still want to be masculine with it because I love, I love Fragcom. I love everything about fragrances, and I don't meet many fragrances that I don't like. But sometimes I get a little frustrated because everything seems to want to go sweet. And when I was Trey Sense in my 20s, I enjoyed that. I'm in my 40s now, mid 40s. I'll be 46 my next birthday. I got gray hair and a beard. I don't want to walk around smelling like cotton candy all the time. Now sure, that's, you know, an occasional thing, fine, fine. But these fragrances come in handy, especially on fall day when it's a little gloomy, a little cold. Say you got your little date situation going on, you know what I'm saying? You're going to get a little, little, little food, you know what I'm saying? You know, you're going to get you a little food. Uh, yeah. <laughs> fragrances like this come in handy because honestly, women do like them. Not saying that they don't like sweet fragrances because they do. They love sweet fragrances. They love powdery fragrances, all of that. They love it. From the house of Cartier, Parsha. Beautiful scent as well. I have not had this one very long, but I thoroughly enjoy this scent. I'm going to spray this one on. Huh? If I can find a place, I hit the old arm right there. doesn't take a lot of any of these fragrances because they're all very, very powerful and give you good longevity with the exception of one. Um, and I haven't got to that one yet, but still. Great barbershop, just powdery, masculine type of fragrances. Now again, they're not citrusy, they're not smoky. You know, they don't have strawberry juleps running through the notes. They're just masculine, just clean, unapologetic. Some of them, one of them has a little bit maybe of a leather vibe going through there, but powdery, powdery, lavendery, just goodness. Speaking of lavender, um, what is that song for home? The Purple Juice could have made this list as well. The next one. It's one that I love and they've been making this fragrance for a very long time. And when I first bought it, I didn't really appreciate it as much because I've grown since then um, and aged a little bit since then. I may have even still been in my thirties. From the house of Dunhill, just Dunhill for me and the OG. And again, you see I put a dent in this. I don't really care for this plastic top, but this fragrance smells really, really good. It just smells, they've been making this since I think 1930. And it's a very, again, strong 
spray, but you will not need a lot of sprays to wear this leather jacket, white t-shirt, a black t-shirt, and some jeans, and some uh, loafers of some type maybe. I mean, just this is something that you wear, again, when you're not trying hard to smell good, but this, this is just you. You know, this is the fragrance that you've been wearing for 20 years, kind of like Old Spice. There are guys out there that have been wearing Old Spice for 50, 60 years. And there's a reason that they make Old Spice. And there's a reason they've been making it for 50, 60, 70 years. It's because it smells good and people like it. Old Spice is a great smelling fragrance. I'll never forget being in a pizza hut. Walked in, now mind you, I probably had on, because we was at, we just been to church, so I probably had on something I consider high end, maybe even been a niche product. We walk in Pizza Hut, and it's an old guy sitting there, blue jeans and a t-shirt, with a white, big old belt buckle, belly hanging out. Now, Pizza Hut, so you smell the pizza cooking, this particular Pizza Hut had a buffet, I don't know if all of them does, we did a buffet on Sunday. Walk in, and all I like to smell is his cologne. And I'm like, man, so you know me, I'm a conversationist. So I asked, excuse me, sir, what fragrance is that you wearing? I know I've smelled that before. He said, ha, Old Spice, ha. Been wearing it for, and his wife grinning. They, I'm just sitting there thinking, what work? He, his wife kept him. I got fired. So <laughs> maybe I need to reevaluate some of this fragrance stuff. But nonetheless, it smelled good. It had the whole restaurant lit up. You talking about projection? He was by the door. That stuff was projecting way at the back of the restaurant. And every time you moved or went by him, you got a strong whiff of it. And that was Old Spice. It's cheap, readily available. If I had it, it would make this list, but I don't like the splash. I wish it came in a spray. That's probably the only reason I don't have it because it comes in a splash. That, that's just, and that's a shame on me because Old Spice is a classic fragrance. But so is Dunhill for me. This is one that has been around for ages and ages and ages. And there are men out there that have worn this for years. Um, if you're a young guy and you come across this video and you see this, understand you can wear any of these fragrances. Your age does not matter. You just have to have the personality and, well, swag to pull it off. You gotta be a big boy. And if you can pull it off, pull it off, man. Pull it off. I guarantee you chicks digging and everybody's not gonna be reaching for these fragrances because they're not shoved down your throat and they're not the run of the mill. They're not what everybody talks about in their videos. So, nonetheless, I like them. I think they're good fragrances, and I know a lot of women out there like them as well. Last one on my list. So I guess I had 10 if I didn't mention that. From the house of Ralph Lauren, Safari. This fragrance right here, great smelling, well known. This probably is the most popular one on this list, other than maybe the 360 White or the, well, the Cartier and the um, Azaro. But this is probably the most popular and well known one on this list. Beautiful bottle. Looks like something you would drink. Looks like it should be in a, in a uh, bar or something like that, a wine cabinet, liquor cabinet. Knock on this one, performance. The smell is amazing. It's amazing. It's a little, it's not, let me get this. It's not powdery. Yeah. It's, it's very modern. It's a little bit more modern than maybe some of the rest of these. Now, the Guerlain, I think, is a very modern scent. I think this is a very modern scent. The rest of them, and the Periolis, is a very modern type of scent. The rest of them could probably be, you know, considered more out... Some people would consider outdated, but to me, a barbershop fragrance never gets old. That scent is just classic to me. But this one is a little bit more modern than the rest of them. It's less powdery. And again, we're not talking about a fragrance that's going to hit you in the face with citrus or woods or whatever. We're just talking about a fragrance that's going to smell extremely nice on you, extremely clean, and do what it's supposed to do. I'm not sure the price point on this either, but I think this is the most expensive one on the list. So, yeah. There you have it. 10 barbershop style or vibe fragrances in my collection. Now, 10 fragrances in my collection to give you that nostalgic barbershop feel or style and I like them all man. I hope everybody's having a good Saturday. I'm fixing to go in here and finish editing this video and watching this basketball game. I think it's Villanova and Baylor. Villanova had just pulled ahead by five or six points when I came in here but I had to get I had to put in work. I had to grind for y'all. Again guys the channel is growing. I appreciate it tremendously. You guys don't know how much that means to me. I'm going to do my best to keep this content coming to you every day. The numbers are up. I appreciate all of you stopping by, 
viewing this video. For those of you who stopped by and watched my videos and still ain't sub, come on, man. Give your boy a pal. And give your boy a sub. For those of you who come back every single time I put up a video, I appreciate it. I really do. I really do. I love you guys. Have a great Saturday. And good Lord willing, we'll see you tomorrow. Peace.